will kick it off. Let's see if they do the pooch. And it's a sidewind. They're going kind of deep on the near side to Billy Mitchell about the 13 to the 15, 20, 25, 30. Spins, drops the ball on the turf, fumbled and recovered by Rice at about the 43-yard line. For the Aggies, that will be, and uh, we'll watch them here. They come to the line of scrimmage. That'll be the fifth fumble we have lost this year on a total of 10. All right, here is no, no wishbone. They come out in a half bone. They're going to break it immediately, and they go just simply with a full bite. Costin is one way, and they will line up Pat Callahan in the backfield. He's not normally a starter, and it's going to go to George as they go over the 40 to about the 39. That went over the left side on a quick handoff from Josh LaRocca. Reggie Graham made the stop there for Texas A&M. Three wide outs here to the right side, one tight in close to the uh, right tackle, and that's Costin. LaRocca may be calling an audible. He's got the other half back. That's Yancey Edmonds, and a flag, and time uh, went out on the 25-second clock. Again, no wishbone, just the single setback, the fullback, George. They only a 200-pounder. They have motion. Coming back right, option. LaRocca now pitches to the outside. He's fumbled, and the Aggies on the pitch. Got it. Fumbled by... Yancey Edmonds and the Aggies recover the fumble. Donovan Greer. So trade fumbles and it's recovered at the 42-yard line. Donovan Greer on the fumble. So they ran, uh, what, two plays, including the penalty. First down and 10, A&M at their 42. So kind of get the kickoff back at about the spot that Mitchell returned it to. On the ground to Rodney, tripped up in the backfield on a nice play by Emmett Waldron. Boy, he has been tough this year for the Owls. This Rice defense is pretty darn quick. Uh, they can, they're going to stop the outside plays. But what, the, what the Aggies want to do is try to run it directly up the field. That time Rodney didn't see a hole up the middle and bounced outside and got, a, got stopped for a loss of a couple of yards. Rice has not beaten AM now since 1980. Straight drop pulling. In the flats, pass to Thomas at the 35 40, at the 50, down to the 40, being chased, cuts back 30, 20. He has a chance. Will he? He will score. Yes. No flags. A pass that he caught back at the 35 yard line. The line of scrimmage was the 41, 41. 59 yards then on the pass in the backfield to Rodney Thomas and a touchdown A&M. That's the longest pass reception of Rodney Thomas's career. Steve, and that is touchdown number nine. Steve Insminger told me they wanted to use the screen a lot more today. This was a quick screen to Rodney. He went right out to the flat, had two linemen in front of him. They got great blocks, and Rodney broke it up the middle and scored from 59 yards away. They're going to call it officially 60. Here is Kyle Bryant, and his extra point is good. Boy, it's been kind of interesting here. We've played a minute and 59 seconds of the first quarter, and the Aggies now lead the ball game by a score of 7 to nothing over Rice. Let's take a break. This is the Texas Aggie Network. The ninth reception of the season for Rodney Thomas. Career reception number 30, career touchdown 38. Here's the kickoff by a Waggis Pack, and out of the side of the end zone, they'll bring it out to the 20 on the touchback. That was a nice kick by Keith Waggis Pack, and that win now still kind of out of the, uh, I'd say out of the north, northwest and I think it's about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Dave. The screen to Rodney Thomas out in the flat. A great block out there by Brandon Ward, who was re was uncovered uh, on that play and released out to the flat to lead Rodney down the sideline. It went 60 yards for the touchdown. The Aggies lead it 7 to nothing. We're at the 13-01 mark. Going to come out now in the wishbone with the ball at the Rice 20. La Rocca going both sides of the offensive line to change the play. Now he's under center. Takes it. Hands off to the left half. That will be to Costin. Costin across the 20 to about the 22. The coaches were telling me that they expected this to be the fastest game of the season for the Aggies. Rice is definitely going to try to control the football and run it. The Aggies want to run the football as well, run and screen, which are high percentage plays. So this game should move along very quickly. Three wide outs on the right side of the ball. No tie in. Fullback gets the handoff and will carry across the 24 to the 20, not the 26 yard line. That'll be Spencer George again for the Owls. Howard and Allen are flexed out wide wide. Costin went in motion. LaRock is going to run the option. He'll pick up the first down right at the 30 yard line. He is cussed. Uh, Smothered by Allen, by uh, it'll be Reggie Brown, and just those two, I guess, on that stop. 
First down and 10. Rice just outside there, 30. Straight drop, LaRocca looks to his right. Ball is uh, deflected in the air and then caught and then dropped right. by Rice. That ball was caught by Ed Howard, who has eight reception into the ball game this season. Rice is a minus two in the turnover department. And the handoff, Callahan will pick up about five to near the 35-yard line. He's lined up in the backfield of that fullback spot. Brandon Mitchell, who leads the team for A&M with big plays. He's been credited now with 28 this season for the sophomore from Abbeville, Louisiana. Made the stop that time. And a third and sixth situation is normally a passing down for most ball clubs. Rice will run the football on third and six. Binghouse is way out to the left side, a single setback. And now motion from a uh, setback. Here's LaRocca running the option, makes the pitch, and they'll pick up close. No, he stepped out of bounds before he hit the 40. It was Jimmy Lee on the pitch from LaRocca coming to the right side. Fourth down, they will show the wishbone as they come to the line of scrimmage, needing just uh, about a yard, maybe a little less. Long count LaRocca, still counting. Pulls up from behind to center. Yeah, and he ran uh, out of time. Hey, did he call time or they dropped the flag? No, he uh, ran out of time. Uh, got a delay of game, I believe. I didn't see him uh, motion for a timeout. He, he may have called. Uh, now they're talking about it here. Larry Fisher, the referee today. They were just trying to draw the Aggies offside. You called that one, Dave. Uh, I did not see him take a timeout, but he must have. And the return man is Billy Mitchell. Billy will stand back at the Aggie 22. A&M leading at 7 to nothing. A two-play. 57-yard drive officially. That yeah, but a 60-yard screen but a 60-yard screen pass right. to Rodney Thomas, and he was wide open after he hit about the 45. Here's the snap, and the kick is a nice one. Here is Mitchell at the 22, and he almost looked like he almost dropped the ball then, but gets it across the 25 to about the 27, and then somebody got him down around the ankles, and the Aggies now have the ball for the second time today on offense. First down and 10, the Aggies at their 27. Corey Pulling, play action, rolls right, throws the ball, gross out of the backfield at the 30, now to the 33-yard line. Picks up about seven. Chris Roman has started at that tackle position on the right side. Brandon Ward out over the ball. Richard and Collins are the guards. Jeff Jones, the tackle on this side. The pitch to Rodney started left, comes back uh, to the right. Now he goes back up the middle, and he got a yard out of that to the 34. That was Leland McElroy, not Rodney Thomas. James, About three yards James short. McKeon, by the way, back in the lineup after being out with a back injury and two tight ends in this formation with a single setback in McElroy. Now Pulling bringing uh, Brandon, uh, or make it Brian Mitchell, back in toward the middle. The handoff will go to McElroy. He will have a first down more across midfield and will be caught as he hits the Rice 45. Nice run by Leland McElroy to the Rice 45. Warwick Franklin from behind, a sophomore from Van Vleck. Two owls were actually closing in on him and finally bring him down at the Rice 45 and a half. Gross is the lead back and McElroy stays at tailback first down and 10. Bullock may have called an audible. He will hand off to Gross. He hits the middle. He'll cross the 45 to the 44 yard line. This Rice defense now will stick you. Chris Sanders in the lineup split in right. Brian Mitchell, flanker to the right. On the left side as a split in is uh, Ryan Matthews. Here's a screen pass behind the line, caught and then uh, deflected up in the air, and Calvin Collins <laughs> gets the deflection and is actually <laughs> caught and dropped for a big loss back outside the 50, back at the Aggie 47. That's not something you work on a lot as an offensive lineman and catching the deflected <laughs> pass. Uh, that time, Calvin would have been better off just knocking it to the ground because it was a loss for the Aggies. Brandon Ward caught one last week, of course, good for Five yards. I guess that was on a pass deflection. Pulling on a delay to Thomas out of the backfield of the 50, down to the 45, cutting back this way, going again across the 40, fumbles the ball down to the 30, still on the ground. Last possession will blow First to down. Texas A&M as it goes out of bounds at the 27, and it should be the Aggies' ball there if indeed calling that a fumble back at the 38-yard line. And that play started at the Aggie 47. That's where Calvin Collins was knocked out of bounds after he caught the ball that was knocked up in the air. And Aggies will go for it here on fourth and four, but Corey wants to talk about it on the sideline first. He's taking a timeout. 7.39 to go here in the first quarter, and the Aggies lead rise 7 to nothing. Barely going for it on fourth when we come back. We'll take a break. This is the Texas Aggie Network. Kobe Hackrat has checked in at the left guard position for A&M. Tim Vordenbaum is at the right guard in this formation on fourth down and about four from the Rice 
39. The Aggies need the Rice 35. Pulling puts a receiver in motion. Matthews left to right. Snap the ball. Hand off to Rodney Thomas. Caught in the backfield. Drop back at the 45. Rice takes over on downs at their 45-yard line. That was fourth and four. Thomas smothered in the backfield. Rice back with a football, getting it on the fourth down. Aggies couldn't convert. Hand off will go to George. George, the line of scrimmage. He tried the left side and got the, got the 45, and that'll be it. It took two plays on the first possession to get the ball into the end zone. Rodney Thomas scoring on his 38th career touchdown. His longest career pass had been 22. Timeout. Timeout called by Rice as they're coming to the line of scrimmage. That is one of two they had remaining. Callahan is the single setback. No wishbone. Three wideouts here to the right. Lee goes in motion to the left side. They'll run the option. Pitch it back to Lee. Has a first down. Knocked out at the Aggie 42. It was Reggie Brown. Also Dennis Allen over close to the play. Aggies number six in the nation. 3-0 in conference play. 6-0 for the season. Lee again in motion. Straight drop LaRocca. Throws back to the right. Caught once more by Howard. Picks up about two to the Aggie 40. Wrapped up as soon as he caught the ball. Down around the ankles by Mike Hendricks. Second down coming. Rice just inside the Aggie 40 on the ground. Callahan and he gets the 38. Not much there. They try over the right guard. Single setback on a third down play. Run the option. Pitch it out to Costin. Bobbling the option. Crosses the 35. Goes to the 34. That's not enough for a first down. He's too shy. Bobbled it as it hit him up uh, near the left shoulder pad. And they will uh, go with a half wishbone. Flexed out. Option left. LaRocca pitches the ball. Closing on him. Won't get it knocked out of bounds. He pitched the ball. And the Aggies closed in on the pitch man. Costin. Reggie Brown. It was Brown and also Dennis Allen, the two of them. Just knocked the way out of him into the uh, Rice bench. And he will lose about three yards on that pitch. The Aggies will take over. So the Aggies tried it on fourth down in Rice territory. They were unsuccessful. Rice tries the same thing in Aggie territory. They're unsuccessful. The Aggies will take the ball at the 37-yard line, first and 10. I formation, Detron Smith is the fullback, and Rodney Thomas is the tailback. And a flag will be thrown before a play ever starts. Yeah, it's going to be against the Aggies. Yeah. False start. Five or false start. Five yards. I formation once more. Slot to the left, tied in over on the right side. Long count by Pulling. Hand off to Rodney. Nice little hole here for a moment. Now he turns on the speed across the 35 to the 40. Knocked into the Aggie bench with a, flag, a flag. And Late another hit. flag at the 42-yard line. They ran Rodney into the bench here on this side. Jeff Sowles was chasing that play. First down for the Aggies. Move the ball to the AM 49. Right at midfield. And they'll come out with a line eye. Hayward Clay, the tight end on the left side. Calvin Collins back in at that left guard. Play action. Pulling being chased. Throws the ball. Caught at the 50. A one-yard gain, if even that, by Detron Smith. Full pass from Pulling. Jeff Sowles. Well, he's been active. Makes that stop. Tim Vordenbaum now has uh, replaced uh, Richard. Richard on the sideline. I formation again. It once more will go to Rodney Thomas. Nice hole up the middle. Has a first down and a lot more across the 35 to about the 34. Right up the middle. Warwick Franklin made the stop. What's Thomas got now? He's got 31 yards on five carries. Pretty good yeah, average. Yeah, not bad at all. Flanker to the right. Split in on the left. Tie it in on the right again. Clay, I formation. Detron Smith handoff once more to Rodney Thomas starts inside. And wow, that was Wilbert, the, Wilbert Biggins into the Wilbert, tailback there. Yeah, uh, Wilbert then and uh, 21, not 20. Then he goes to the 35, lost a half yard, did Biggins. Sanders on the right side, split back formation. Biggins stays in as a tailback. In Clay, straight drop, about a six-yard pocket. Pulling throws the ball, going to be caught. That's going to be, I believe, Clay. Looked like a face That's mask there. Clay caught the ball to tie it in for AM. Not enough for a first down. He caught it at the 27 and was tack uh, tackled immediately by Jeffrey Mercer. Scoreboard says now Rice is out of timeouts. The Aggies show two on their side of the board. 
Pulling has him at the line of scrimmage on a third down and about three or so, maybe a little less than that. Biggins in motion to the right side. Thomas is the lone setback. Throw it back to Biggins, and he oh. dropped the ball. He's going to get an incomplete pass. He'd set up right, went in motion to the right, set up at the line of scrimmage, turned around, looked at Bullock, drilled him in the numbers, and he lost the ball off his fingers. Here is Kyle Bryant. Ball will be spotted at the 35, almost in the middle of the field. A 45-yard effort has a field goal in every game this season. Does this uh, freshman redshirt. Stormy Case holds. The ball is, that's a low kick, partially blocked. Will roll at the goal line and then into the end zone. It may, somebody got a hand on that. He uh, will miss the field goal from 45 yards off the foot of Kyle Bryant. It looked like that snap from center two, Dave, was not a hand, a little bit low and wasn't handled quite properly. Well, yeah, and he, by Stormy and definitely Case. a low kick. And it hit right at the goal line and then rolled into the end zone. LaRocca puts a man in motion, and he will run the option after the fullback fake, and he's caught after a yard gain. He faked to the fullback, started right, and then was wrapped up first by Larry Jackson, Texas A&M's uh, defensive end. Second down and about nine, they'll show the wishbone, and it goes to the fullback, breaks through the initial A&M surge and across the 30 to about the 32. Edmonds, and they just had movement by the uh, tight end, end on the yeah. left side. The tight end moved. Clemente Torres fell out of that three-point stance, leaning forward. Howard and Edmonds go to the left side, and they snap the ball. They're going to try it up the middle. It goes to George, the fullback. The lone setback got the call. He goes to the 32-yard pickup. Punt time, Rice. Tucker Phillips, his second punt of the day. Nice snap. About letter high. Good kick. Billy Mitchell backing up. Will take it at the 18. Got a side. Oh, what a great block on the corner, but it's not going to be enough as he's wrapped up at about the 21. He got a block. Sherrod Wyatt. Boy, what a block. Laid somebody out for the Owls. And the Aggies then will get the ball at about the 21. They're 21. And that was about a three-yard return. There was good coverage downfield. First down and 10 A&M. They've got the ball at the Aggie 21-yard line. The handoff, big hole, about 10, now about 12, 15 yards out to the 35 by Rodney Thomas. Give it to him as 14 yards just across the 35. One of the great names in football, Nduque Kalu, made the stop. Time has run out in the first quarter, and the Aggies will take the lead the second quarter ahead, 7 to nothing. First down and 10 A&M. They have the ball just across the 35. Rice, couple of their linemen starting to jump. Long count by Pulig. They'll snap the ball and uh, will go to Rodney Thomas, and he will get uh, about the 38-yard line. Uh, Vorden Bauman's in there. Hunter Goodwin's in there. Chris Ruman and Calvin Collins in the lineup right now. So two non-starters in Vorden Bauman at right guard and Kern over the ball at center. I formation. Cliff Gross is the fullback. Rodney Thomas is the tailback. Split in on the left side is Matthews. Hand off to Rodney. He goes right into the middle of things. Gets it to the 40. Picked up two. Third and a little more than five. Biggins in motion to the left side. Straight drop to uh, Pullick. Throw the ball over the head of Biggins. He should have had it. Came off his hands. Dropped it at about the Aggie, or the, or the Aggie 43. The return man for the Owls standing back at their 20 is Emerson Allen. Here is Sean Terry. It's a boomer. And it will be a, oh, a fair catch. Oh, late call, though. Right. Wait a minute. He's got to get the hand up before that. They're going to flag him for hitting him, but he put the hand up right before he got well, hit. But you still get, you, you have the opportunity to catch the ball, whether you call the uh, fair catch or not. Got to give him the opportunity to catch the ball. So whether it was a fair catch or not, he still would have been May flagged on that. May just catch interference. Yeah. 44 on the punt. But as he was trying, he got the hand up, and he was hit. You have to let him catch the ball. I don't believe that the defender, the Aggie defender, had any idea where that ball was. The Aggies will be penalized here. Two uh, penalties. It was an illegal procedure. Well, he's calling one and of them a personal, personal foul, foul, which I don't, I don't disagree with. That may, it may be catch yeah. interference, but uh, the hand went up right before the ball got there. The, the defender, there's no way he's going to be able to stop. They give the Aggies the wishbone. Tied in on the right side. LaRocca fakes to the fullback, takes it on the keeper, goes to about the 33-yard line. LaRocca on the carry. 
Rock is great size, 6'1", 205, junior, two letters out of San Antonio. He's carried 64 times this year for uh, about 180 yards. Straight drop, LaRock, about three steps back, through the ball, out of bounds. Up off the fingertips of Howard, the intended receiver. Owls off a big win last week over Texas at their place. 19-17, they beat Tech the week before, 24-21. Third down. Motion, Costin going back to the right. They hand off to the fullback, George. Nothing there. They tried the middle, and there wasn't anything there. He went to the 36-yard line, and they'll have to punt the ball. Nice stand here by the ranking crew. Larry Walker made that hit. One time into Rice territory, they're stopped on a fourth down attempt, and the next time it's a missed field goal. So they need to start hitting on all cylinders and score some more points. Line of scrimmage, the 36. The Aggies were coming. Phillips got the kick away. Backpedaling is Mitchell. Takes it at the 17. Goes to the sideline out of bounds at the 23-yard line. A six-yard return. That was a nice kick. Third of the day by Tucker Phillips. Aggie offense to the line. They're ranked third in the conference in total offense in the nation in total offense. First down and 10 at about the 22. The handoff to Rodney Thomas started inside. Now back to his left. He's across the 30. Turns his back. Pushes to the 31. Rodney Thomas. Second down at about two. What's Rodney now carrying the ball today? He's got 57 yards on 10 carries. He's over 500 now for the season. Detron Smith, the fullback. Rodney at the tailback position. Rodney Thomas, it's an eye formation. McKeon's the tight end on the right. Pitch it to Rodney Thomas. Coming back to the right. Has a lead block. Has Detron out in front of him. Pushes Detron into a man. <laughs> goes to the 45 and picks up about 14 yards on the carry. Warwick Franklin. He, Detron was looking for somebody to block and then right between the numbers with his left hand, Rodney Thomas pushed him. McElroy has a strained hamstring. I don't know if he's coming back today or not, but a strained hamstring. First down and 10. The Aggies operating at their 45. High formation again. Once more it goes. This time Biggins. Biggins spins and pushes toward the 50. And will be stopped shy of that at the 49. He gets four on the carry. Biggins. Rice has just one interception this season. And again, uh, they are a uh, minus uh, one. Here's the handoff again to Biggins. Started inside, started back uh, then to the left, and he's tripped up at the line of scrimmage. The 49 on a second down. It'll be third down and still six coming. Five of seven throwing the ball today for pulling three wide outs to the left. No one really directly behind him in the backfield. Motion coming as they break the trips formation on the left. Bringing back right Matthews. Looking to the right. Throwing the ball. And it is caught for a... No, incomplete. Incomplete. McKeon caught it. They say then he trapped it apparently. And he was at the point needed for the first down. That was a third down. And now he will be pulling five of eight. Throwing the ball today. He hit his first five. Has missed his last three. Well, actually, he hasn't missed his last I'll three. But uh, two balls, all three balls have been dropped. They've been right on target. Corey throwing the ball extremely well today. I've often thought that, uh, like you do in baseball, where you have a yeah. hit or an error, that You're there right. ought to be some sort of a stat that says that's a, uh, a drop or it was a catch, a uh, bad throw by the quarterback. Here is uh, Sean Terry punting the ball. Fair catch taken at the 11 by Allen. Had plenty of room that time, so he took that ball at the 11 on a good uh, kick by Sean Terry. We'll take a break celebrating 100 years of football. You're listening to the Texas Aggies. Brad Crowley is uh, giving a rest here to Larry Jackson on that defensive end position on the right side. Jasper is still out over the ball, and Brandon Mitchell's the uh, tackle on the other end, the defensive end on the other end. The handoff will go to Callahan. And Callahan across the 15 line of scrimmage, the 12. Here's a second down and five. Owls from their 17. Single setback again to Callahan. Breaks out after he was hit at the line. Gets three to the 20. He was bottled up, then he sprung out of there. Now we're under nine in the second. Wishbone. Callahan, the fullback, gets the first down on a third down and short. Did he get it? Yeah, I think he got it. They're going to see what depends on the spot, but I think he's got it. Three wideouts on the left side of the ball, the open side of the field. Callahan, the lone setback. Costin in motion. It's an end around to Allen going back to uh -oh. the right side. It's open down the sideline. 30, 35, 40 at midfield being chased and will be stopped at the 38-yard line, the Aggies' side of the 50. End around to Allen. 
His longest, uh, that's the first time he's carried the ball this season. His longest pass had been 29. They had motion as they start the play. There's a flag down. They throw it to Howard here on the left flats. Across the 40, uh, uh, 35 to about the 32. And I think that's going to be a uh, procedure against uh, the Rice offense. Rice breaks the huddle, approaches the line of scrimmage. A slot formation on the right side of the ball. Short side of the field. Single setback. Slot to the left as well. Handoff goes to the fullback again. Hey, Callahan will get about a yard to the 42. Actually had the ball inside the 40. They had a penalty marked off on a first down play. Lee in motion to the right side. LaRocca from the pocket throwing back to the left. And it's incomplete. Scooped up off the turf by uh, Jeff Vingus. Vinghouse, rather. Here's the third and 14. Single setback Callahan. Lee in motion to the right side. Straight drop, LaRocca. Throws. He's hit. Throwing deep. And it will be incomplete off the fingertips of the intended receiver. It'll be Darius Wilmington down yeah, around the, uh, what, the 20, around the uh, five-yard line. Fourth down and 14 at the Aggie 42. Phillips again. He stands back at the Rice 43. And the Aggies were coming. They almost got a hand on that. The uh, kick will be taken by Mickens at the nine-yard line. On a fair catch by Mickens at the nine. First down and ten, the Aggies. Just inside there, ten and near the nine. Brandon Ward back in at center. And the handoff, play action. Rolling right, Pollock tucks it. Now he throws, and it'll be caught on the sideline at the 21-yard line. Reception made by Brian Mitchell. Oh, what a nice piece of play action faking by Corey Pollock. Faking to Rodney Thomas right into the middle of the line and rolling out to his right. Gross, Thomas. I formation, handoff, Thomas started left, cuts back to his right, jumps over a man at the 29, goes to the 30, Rodney Thomas. And a nice piece of running there. He started to his left and then saw the hole, made a quick, quick plant with his left foot. Having a big day here. It's only 5.57 left in the first half, and he's already got 80 yards in carry. His best day ever against the Owls, 40 prior to this play action. Got a block from behind it pulling. Now he's going to throw deep on the right sideline looking at Mitchell and it's incomplete down at about the 27 yard line. And Mitchell being dogged there by Warwick Franklin. But yeah. see I like that strategy. You've got a second and one situation. Take a shot deep yeah. now and then so they can't stack the line on your second down. High formation again Dave. It's Gross and Thomas. Need about a yard. It's going to go to Rodney. Falls forward as he jumps and he'll uh, get the first down. Across the 31 to about the 32. And that will be first down. Thomas now well over 500 yards for the year. First down and 10 just outside the Aggie 31. I again. Gross and Thomas. Thomas started left. Comes back to the right. Okay, will pick up 20, near the 35. Thomas. Got about three yards there. Split in Sanders to the left. Flanker right. Ryan Matthews. Now they'll go to a split back formation after all of that. Straight drop by a Pulling. Throwing back to the right. Going to be caught by Matthews. It will be enough for a first down. Goes to the Aggie 46. Did not get out of bounds. Clock will continue to roll. Corey with a perfect strike to him and a first down for the Aggie. Nine receptions in his last two games. Ten now in the last three for Ryan Matthews. Single setback. Flexed out to the right side. Biggins. Matthews in motion to the wide side of the field. Straight drop. Five-yard pocket. Throw back to the left. Wide open. Diving down. Making the catch at the 50. The throw was low to Matthews. He had to go to his side to make the reception. Single setback. Biggin stays in. He's about eight yards behind the line of scrimmage. Motion from Matthews coming to the right. Roll to the right. Pollock pumps, throws. It will be caught. Did he be high on at the 39-yard line? That will be Brian Mitchell at the 39. A first down for the Aggies. 11 yards to Brian Mitchell. 9 of 13. Over 100 yards throwing the ball now here in the first half for Corey Pollock. Gross and Thomas in an I formation. Pollock may be calling an audible. Looks right now back to his left. Brandon Ward, the center, snaps the ball, pitch it to Rodney. Tries the middle, good hole, 30, 25. Tripped oh. up from behind, rolls to the 19-yard line. Tripped up by Jay Laney, got a hand on a trailing foot and picks up 20 yards. First down and 10, the ball's at the uh, Rice 19-yard line. Good one, Vordenbaum and Ward, Collins, and Jones, the offensive line. Throw it in the flats, caught by Sanders at the 10. Down to the six-yard line, first and goal, the Aggies. Sanders caught it at the 10 and advances then to the six. High formation, Gross and Thomas. 
Clay is the tie it in. He's on the short side of the formation. Now the Aggies will give him a light eye with a slot right. And roll to the right. Now up the middle. Caught. Trying to get away. Now throwing the ball. Oh. Caught and then dropped by Gross. He was caught by an ankle pulling. Found Gross at the 10. Threw it. Gross had it in his hands and dropped it. Yeah, I'm always amazed at Corey. Now he's a junior, but I'm always amazed at his poise. And he's always had great poise, even as a freshman quarterback. That time, he's got somebody hanging around his ankle. And somehow, he locates Cliff Gross and hits him right in the hands. And a single setback in Gross. Straight drop. Seven-yard pocket. Throw it. Flitz. Oh. Flipped up in the air and intercepted at the one. Deflected and then intercepted. Accepted at the one, apparently, by we couldn't tell Derek, who got a hand on it. Eric Williams intercepted the ball. It was uh, turning well. end over end on a deflection, intercepted at the one, and returned to the nine-yard line. A very promising drive. Stops on the first interception of the uh, ball game. Here's Rice at the line of scrimmage. A&M leads seven to nothing. A single setback will be George. George gets the handoff, makes the ten-yard line. That's all. Rice has no timeouts. The Aggies have two. Howard goes wide to the right side. Wishbone formation, Rice, LaRocca, his quarterback. Again, it goes to the fullback. Carries to the 15. George carries out to the 15-yard line. LaRocca showing a half ball in the right half, not showing up in this formation. Aggies looking like they may be coming on a blitz on a third down at about four. It's going to go to the fullback, George, and he has the first down at the 20-yard line. Well, the Aggies burned a timeout, hoping to get the ball, being able to stop him on a third down, but instead they convert the first down and likely will keep the ball until the end of the first half. Hurd still out over the, uh, the ball here at that nose tackle position. He's been in there this entire series. Left half misses here. Hand off again to George, the fullback, another nice hole across the 25 to about the 27. We'll get about eight yards, maybe seven there. Reggie Graham made that stop for the Aggies. Time now is 21 seconds and counting. Probably the last play of the first half, and the Aggies will take a 7-0 halftime lead into the locker room. We are just underway in the third quarter here at Kyle Field. 14 minutes as the clock rolls. Rice breaks the huddle. No wishbone. Trips formation left. Running back Costin flexed out here. Straight drop after play action. LaRocca dancing around. Quarterback sack back at the 49-yard line. Caught and dropped there by Edward Jasper. That will be quarterback sack number three for the uh, young man from Troop. No tight end. Trips on the left. Howard, Lee, and Allen in that direction. Have a running back to line up in a tight end position. They'll throw the ball, and it's going to be caught by Allen at the Aggie 39-yard line. They will pick up about 10 yards on that. Now it'll be a third and seven situation for Rice. They had Vang House and Wilmington out on the field, and they brought them back off, and they go with a wishbone. Callahan is the fullback. Costin and Lee. Play action. Rolling left. Here is LaRocca and will be hit as he throws the ball. He had no Throwing to whom? There was nobody down nobody there. Nobody on the left side of the field. Yes, Allen was the only man down there, and that's a maroon and white uniform. And the RC's nearest, out on the, the field. The nearest receiver was down about the five-yard line for the Owls. RC is hot right now. That should be uh, He wants to know who he was throwing day. to. He was under heavy pressure. 
There's nobody even close. Yep. Official there got caught with a flag in his pocket. Now he takes it out, throws it up in the air, and after he has talked with Larry Fisher, the referee, the official then finally throws the flag. Well, it was RC. You know, he, he lost. He was livid. <laughs> well, I can see his. I see his side of that. I mean, there wasn't a receiver within 30 yards of where that pass hit. Oh boy. Well, this one comes after the fact, but it does get called. And get, let's give some credit to the officials. Lost. They saw their mistake. They corrected it, and they called the foul as it should have been called initially. Tucker Phillips will stand at the Owl 37. Snap the ball. Outside pressure gets the kick away. Fair catch called for by Mitchell. We'll take it. Or by, uh, yeah, Billy Mitchell at the 14-yard uh, line. Tied in McKeon on the right side. Has a flanker outside on his right Pitch it back to Rodney. Started inside, cut it back to his left, and he will pick up the 20. About five yards, Rodney Thomas, 106 yards rushing at halftime. Second down and five. McKeon stays as the tight end, slot on the left. Hand off again to Rodney. Trips as he goes across the 20. The line of scrimmage and falls down at the 23. Used his hand to spring forward, then on down to the, uh, out to the 25. Brandon Ward out over the ball. Calvin Collins... One guard, Tim Vordenbaum, and the other guard. Had the short yardage offense in. Rodney Thomas stringing it out to the left side and knocked out of bounds, did not pick up the first okay. down. He actually lost a yard. They were stringing it wide left. Emerson Allen has returned uh, seven punts this season for an average of 6-4. A fair catch call for, and a not a good punt here by uh, Sean Terry at the 36. Bryce first and 10 from their 36, wishbone. And it will go to the fullback who bounces it outside. That'll go to George. He goes to the 40. Here is second down at about seven. Ball near the Rice 40. Again, the wishbone. Play action. It's going to be a pitch as they run the option. Going back to Costin. Costin caught from behind. Back at the 38. A loss on the play of two. It was Reggie Graham behind the line of scrimmage. Or was it Brown? Reggie, Reggie Brown. Brown. Yeah. Then. Mitchell, Jackson. Jasper make up the front three. Aggies may be coming on a blitz here on a third down. And it goes to the fullback, and he has a first down across the 50. Aggies were coming on the blitz, and LaRocca read it and handed off to George, the fullback, and he goes across the 50 to the Aggie 46. Single setback. George. Costin off to the left, Lee off to the right, two receivers outside of him to the open side. The Rocket play action, deep pocket. Guy got away from a big rush by the Aggies. He'll carry it out of the 40, down to the 35-yard line, and he has a first down. AM had him trapped for all intents and purposes back inside the 50, but suddenly he broke out of there and carries for a first down. First down and 10 at the Aggie, 34, half a wishbone. George, nice carry. He has it across the 25. He's down to about the 22. But a half a bone here with a right half and then the fullback. And it goes to the fullback, George, dancing around. Got away from a couple of men and then outside slips and falls at the line of scrimmage. It will be George. 8.04. Third quarter. This is one of those time-consuming drives that Rice can put together with his wishbone. Now it's a single setback with only the fullback George lined up behind LaRocca. Costin goes right, play action. LaRocca looking to throw, going toward the end zone, and it's intercepted by Dennis Allen. Nice play by Allen. He had great position, had some help by Ray Mickens. Double team. LaRocca threw into the double coverage from AM. Dennis Allen takes the lead for the Aggies in the secondary with three interceptions now and thwarts this Rice Owl drive that was down to the Aggie 23-yard line. Third interception of the season. Number three for the Aggies. That will be number seven overall. First and ten. They get it back on offense. Come out with a heavy eye. B. Smith and McElroy has returned. Here's throwing back to the left. It'll be caught by Matthews. Tries to sidestep a tackler. Can't do it. He's caught at the 31, but that's a first down to Ryan Matthews. First down and 10. How many first downs for the Aggies now? That'll be number 13. Give you an update here on Rodney Thomas in a moment. Split back formation. Thomas and Biggins play action. 
Here's a throw, and it's going to be caught by McKeon. Midfield breaks the tackle, goes across the 45, down to the 41-yard line. James McKeon. All right, it'll be his first reception since he comes back from the injury. Oh, and a big one it is all the way down to the right 40-yard line. A 28-yard reception for James McKeon. A nice throw from Corey, but McKeon went high to pull that one down and then broke a tackle. There were two or three Rice players there, but he broke the tackle and took it down to the 40-yard line. The Aggies are moving the ball. That's his longest reception since the Stanford game. He had one for 22 in that ball game. 28 on that one. First down and 10, and the handoff's on the ground to Leland McElroy. Goes to the 36. So McElroy out of the first half with a strained hamstring, returns in the second half and takes it to the 36 and a half on a first down carry from the Rice 40. Jeffrey Mercer made that stop. I told you earlier that Thomas now is 27th all-time rushing for a career in the Southwest Conference. I formation, Smith and McElroy behind him. Goes to McElroy again. A little hole, but not a Mark whole lot the there. Is it's about four. At the 33, the Aggies need right at the 30. Matthews to the left side. Clay on the right side. Mitchell here is the flanker right. Aggies will show a heavy eye. Smith and McElroy. Play action. Throw the ball to the... That'll be is that Smith out of the backfield. Down to the 20, down to the 18. So Detroit. Field. Lined up in the heavy eye on the right side. Broke a tackle at the 25. Gets it to the 18. Longest pass so reception of his career has been 19. That was 15. A Detron goes to McElroy over the left side. Has some yardage. Hits a man as he goes down. He headbutted one uh, Rice defender at the 13-yard line. And then the uh, Jeffrey Mercer made that stop. Matthews, he is to the right of Mitchell. Mitchell's in the slot on the right side of the formation. That's the open side of the field. Ward snaps the ball, gives again to McElroy, and right, oh, it didn't go down. He had him and then wrapped him up, and he gets right back up, and he goes at the line again, and he'll, he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. He was wrapped up, broke away from the initial Rice uh, defender, dropped back to the 20, and so let me have one more try at it. Got it back to uh, the 18 and lost, what, about four or five there. Here's, here's a big play now. Third down and nine. Ags need a first down. Need inside the eight-yard line for a first down. Bullock takes it. They're coming up the middle. They're going to throw a screen here on the right side, and it's going to be read well by Rice, and they'll drop the receiver Biggins at the 18-yard line. They'll lose about a yard or two on that. So the Aggies will try a field goal from the 26-yard line. It'll be a 36-yard attempt for Kyle Bryant. Missed from 45 earlier in the ball game in the first half today. Has a field goal in every game this season. Spotted down at the 26-yard line. Stormy Case will hold. Here's the kick on its way. And he missed it to the right. Just missed it off to the right side. It was plenty far, plenty high, but went outside the upright on the right side. So that's two misses today. This one from 36. 45 and 36 on the misses. Al's back with the ball on offense. First down and 10 at their 20. Again, it goes to George. He will pick up four. The full back for the Owls to the 24-yard line. Wishbone. LaRocca rolls right. Keeps it. Crosses the 25. Goes to about the 27. The quarterback keeps there. Wishbone. LaRocca looks over the defense. Calls an audible. Timeout. He's running out of time on the 25-second clock. He had to call time. 2.14 to go in the third. Aggies lead 7 to nothing. Aggies uh, against Texas Tech down at halftime. It scored 7. And again, this ball game has scored 7. That's the low output for a half this season. Second time this year that the Aggies have shut the opponent out in the first half. Half a bone. Third down and three. It goes to the fullback, George. He will not pick up the first down. He went to the 29, and the Aggies, Reggie Graham, had him there. They are a yard shy. They're going to go for it, apparently, or try to draw the Aggies off sides. Let's see. Here they are at the line of scrimmage on a fourth down and inches. Half a bone again. Hand off to George, and he may have gotten it on second effort, and he did. Across the 30, he went. And the nose of the ball is across the 30, and they'll pick up a first down. George, the fullback, got it on a fourth down and less than a yard. Aggies have 322 yards in total offense and a touchdown. 
Option, LaRocca pitches back to Lee, cuts it at the 30, 35, 40, has a first down to the 45-yard line, 15 yards to Lee on the option from LaRocca around the right side. Ray Mickens had to make the tackle, or Lee may have been gone. First down and 10 for Rice at their 45. Half a bone again. There is a flag thrown as they come to the line of scrimmage. There must have been movement here on the offensive line. They were pointing at one of the linemen on the right side of the center. AM leading it 7 to nothing. The time is 36 seconds in the third quarter. Maybe the last play of the third quarter. There's a right half, no left half on the wishbone. And it goes to George again. George got a yard, maybe two to the 42-yard line. It'll be second down and 13 when they come back to the line. They do not have to run another play here in the third quarter if they choose not to do so, as the clock is now at 14, and they're just now starting the 25-second clock. Man Foundation. As a supporter of Aggie basketball, the Foundation. Vice must reach the Aggie 44 for a first down, second and 15. Passing down, rolling left, now back to his right. LaRocca being chased. He's going to be sacked. No, he got away. Now he Ooh. won't. Got away, then he's blasted at the 29. Hit by Antonio Armstrong. Larry Jackson was back there chasing him. Somebody had him by the shirt. He broke free, and that was back at the 26th. Then he went bouncing forward to the 29, and then he went back to the 26th. Single setback, George. Three wideouts to the right. Running back flexed left. Lee in motion to the left, and it goes to George. And George will carry from the 30 out to the 36. Now they'll punt the ball. Will the Owls and Reggie Graham on that stop. Snap the ball. Little outside pressure. Nice high kick. Catch. The 23 by Billy Mitchell. Row four, seats one, two, and three. Here is Corey Pulling at the line of scrimmage. First down and 10 at the 24-yard line. Straight drop. He'll put the ball in the air. Out to the right side. It's going to be caught out of the backfield by Thomas, and he's going to be good for a first down. Gets 10 to the 35-yard line. Nice little misdirection there. Thomas catching the ball going toward the sideline, was able to spin around and come back toward the hash mark. Back to the line of scrimmage, first down and 10, Texas A&M. If you're counting those, it's 16. The Aggies now 333 in total offense. Single setback is Thomas again, pulling a long count. Has two tight ends in the ball game. Motion from Sanders, and it's going to go to Thomas again. They're closing in on him. Now he breaks out, breaks out, and up. They caught him by the ankles. Looked like he was just a step away from having a nice run there, but instead he's caught at the 38, a pickup of three. Aggies come to the line, second down and seven. After a carry and a split back formation, a carry by Thomas on the first down play. And him snaps the ball. They go to Rodney again. He's being trailed from behind, and he crosses the 40 and goes to the 42. The Aggies will show a heavy eye. The strong side of the formation. Split into the left. Need about two and a half for a first down. Play action. Pulling, rolling right. Looking down the field. He may run with it. He's heading for the sideline. He got the first down by a step. Now the Aggies 343 yards in total offense and lead 7 to nothing in the fourth quarter. 11.34 to go in the game. Split backs again. Gross and McElroy. Tied in is Clay. Play action. Pulling steps up in the pocket. He's going to run with a football. And he will dive forward to the 45 of Rice. Be short of a first down by about a half a yard. Dove to the 45. Needed the 44 and a half. The Sanders split in right. Clay, the tight end on the left. Kevin Burns in the lineup. The Aggies show an eye with Detron Smith as the fullback. Pulling with Brandon Ward as his center. Still counting. Snap the ball. Give it to Detron. He picks up the first down. Goes to the Owl 42-yard line. Split backs on a first and 10 at the Owl 42. Pulling. Throws. Caught Clay. Clay to the 30-yard line. 11 yards to Hayward Clay. The big tight end. 56,214 watching the ball game today. Total offense. Once again, moving the ball deep in Owl territory. They're at the 30. Split backs. Straight drop pulling. Deep pocket. It's a screen to the left side, and the ball has been fumbled and picked up by Rice at the 40. Back to the 50. Back to the Aggie 44. Caught on a screen, and the Ags uh, saw McElroy catch the ball as he caught it. He turned to run. He was hit. 
Ball popped up, picked up by one of the Owls, and returned back to the 44-yard line by Andy Clifton. Here are the Owls. They're looking for a, a tying touchdown drive at the Aggie 43. George bounces outside. Can he get away? He does. He is going to get back to the line of scrimmage. All the way back to the 50. Strung it out to the far sideline. Went into the Rice bench. Aggie faithful with man towels. Yelling here. Throw the pass out to the left side. Caught by Costin at the 50. Gets it to the 43 and that's all. Got a yard on a pass in the flats behind the line of scrimmage to Byron Costin. Three starters are out on this Rice possession. Third and nine. Snap the ball. Run the option. LaRocca goes back to the uh, trailing back. Caught being pushed out of bounds. Shy of a first down by a bunch. Yancey Edmonds never went anywhere. Michael Hendricks over there. Pushed and Ray it. Mickens with a good tackle. Out at the 40-yard line he went. Balls at the 40. They need the Aggie 33. Now the punt team's coming out on the field. They'll, uh, we better look for something here. Yeah, that, they're going to aim it toward look the sideline. for something here. Well, we better look for a fake. Mickens he is the return man. Shouldn't see this football. No fake. Kicking toward the end zone. And it will hit in the end zone. Just a yard in. And it will be brought out to the 20. So after the uh, fumble by McElroy when he was hit on the screen pass, they go nowhere. Do the Owls end up punting the ball? But the Aggies have to start at their 20. That was a 40-yard punt by Phillips. We're back here at Kyle Field. The Aggies will take the ball over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They have split backs. And on the left side, it's uh, Thomas. On the right side, Gross. Pulling under some pressure. Now will run out of the pocket at the 20, the 25. Got a block going for the 30. Gets out at the 32, and he's been uh, hit out of bounds. It's here on the left side. Matthews and Mitchell are the receivers. And the handoff goes to Thomas to the 40, to the 41-yard line. Stayed in bounds. Hits just shy of the 41. Bobby Dixon. Of course, the clock now becomes an ally for the uh, Aggies, moving at the 840 mark uh, here in the fourth quarter, and the Aggies leading 7 to nothing and with the football. His best ever in conference play, 179 against Texas Tech on 24 carries. Second down and about two, a little more than that. Once more to Rodney Thomas, bouncing outside, has a first down across the 45 to the 46 on the left side of the formation. That's to the short side toward the Aggie bench. 17 of 23, throwing the ball with an interception. First and 10, single setback. Two tight ends and two flankers. Long count by Pulling. Snap the ball, give it to McElroy. He's hit, got a yard. Second down. Ags with the ball at the AM 48 yard line. Pulling puts Sanders in motion to the right side of the formation. That's the open side. They're going to throw a little flat pass back to Sanders. He caught it at the 45, goes to the 50, breaks a tackle, and the uh, tight ropes the sideline. They're saying incomplete pass. I think it skipped it, in. Say it skipped at the 45. Now third down. Here come the Aggies. Third down conversions today, four of 10. This is third and eight, shotgun formation. I think this is the first time today we've seen it. Running backs, Gross and Thomas, roll to the right. Now he throws toward the sideline. That's way over the head of Mitchell. That's out of bounds into the Rice bench. Last kick by uh, Sean Terry was for 41 yards. He will take the snap from center back at the Aggie 33. Line of scrimmage again, the 48. Rice with uh, very little pressure. Nice high kick, fair catch. Allen. Caught it. May have fumbled the ball, did he? Aggie say they had. No, Rice got it. Rice has it. How does he know? He didn't even look to see who recovered it. He must have. I don't know. We'll see. Rice Maybe said it was picked a, it up at the 24-yard line. $50 annually to the Women's Athletic Program. Rice takes the 27-yard punt. Off the foot of Sean Terry at their 24. Fumbled the ball, but they got the recovery. First and 10. Wishbone again. LaRocca goes to the fullback, George. Spins, lost maybe a half yard, lost a yard at the 24-yard line. Reggie Graham hit him. George, the lone setback. They break the wishbone. Trips formation right, open side of the field. 
It goes to George. He's bottled up for a moment. Breaks through. Gets out to about the 29. He was wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. He bounced off and got it out to about the 29-yard line. 6.06 remaining here in the fourth quarter. The Aggies leading it 7 to nothing. A big third down play here. Rice at their own 29-yard line. Mitchell, Jasper, and uh, Jackson, the starting front three are in the lineup. Wishbone, Rice, third down and six. Option, LaRocca pitches back here to Yancey Edmonds. He has the first down. Goes all the way out to the 40. An 11-yard, a 12-yard carry by Edmonds. That was a great option run. LaRocca waited to the perfect moment to make his pitch. Wishbone, George is the fullback. Play action, LaRocca wanting to pass the ball, steps up, hit from behind, dropped at the 40. He was about to throw deep to the far sideline to Allen, and somebody fell on him from behind. Askew leaves the lineup. They've called the play. Second down and 11 from the Rice 40. Need the Aggie 49. LaRocca calling an audible. He has a wishbone formation with two wide outs to the right side. They'll run the option. Here is LaRocca caught back at the 34-yard line. Antonio Armstrong shot the gap on a blitz. Caught it from behind for a big loss back to the 34-yard line. That'll be a loss of about six yards on the option, and it'll bring up a third and 17 for Rice. Rice called a timeout. Now they're back to the line on third and 17 with 4.13 remaining in the ball game, trailing 7 to nothing to the Aggies. Single setback, two wide outs both sides of the ball. Shallow pocket, LaRocca forced out of the pocket to run. Out to the 45, dropped at the 45. Shy of a first down by six. Picked up about 11 yards, maybe 12 on the carry. Out of the pocket he went, and Dennis Allen, I guess, or Mike Hendricks up to make the stop. That's going to set up a fourth and four with 3.54 left, and uh, Rice will take another time out to make a decision on how they want to handle this uh, fourth down play. Out on the field, Dennis Allen, Hurricane Hendricks, Donovan Greer, Ray Mickens, Larry Walker, Brandon Mitchell, Reggie Brown, Reggie Graham, Antonio Armstrong, Jackson, Jasper, and Mitchell. And they have a wide out, way out here on the right side, half a bone. LaRocca, here's the fourth down. And he'll hand off, it goes to George, broke a tackle, got the first down across the 50 to the 47-yard line. So the Owls have moved into Aggie territory, trailing only by a score of 7 to nothing. We've got 348 left in this ball game. We're headed for a, a great finish. Did not get out of bounds. Clock rolls as Rice comes to the line of scrimmage, having just picked up their 14th first down of the ball game. Single setback. It's George the fullback. LaRocca calling an audible. They've got Costin, the running back, set up as a tight end left. Goes to George, bottled up, went nowhere, right at the line of scrimmage, second down and 10 when they come back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10, there was no gain. Heard in there right now. And it's going to be a option. The ball is pitched and it's laying on the sideline. It rolls out of bounds. The option went to Lee from LaRocca. LaRocca being tackled as he was going down. It rolled out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Rice, the last team to touch it. Now what? The officials have gathered on the sideline. They're saying that uh, the running back Lee may have been down when he had the ball and then it rolled forward to the 43. Beanbag will be picked up. They're going to spot the ball at the Aggie 43 on a second down play. It'll be third coming. That stopped the clock. 2.44 to go. Rice again with a football. They'll hand off. No, it's the, uh, it's the option again. LaRocca to the sideline to Edmonds. Edmonds has a first down at the Aggie 35-yard line. Clock will start when the ball is snapped. 2.38 remaining in the ball game. 7 to nothing, and Rice is driving for a touchdown of the wrecking crew trying to stop him. George, the handoff, George will get about two. Well, and Rice going without a huddle now. Aggies need to get set and get ready. That time a few of the Aggies not set when the ball was snapped. Second and eight, half a bone with only a right half. It's Edmonds. And it will be LaRocca on the keeper. He goes to the 30, picks up three. Time, 155, clock rolling. 
Rice apparently out of timeouts. No timeout showing on the board. Half a bone again with only a right half. And it will be handoff Callahan. And Callahan didn't want to get... LaRocca tried to give him the ball, then he wanted to take it back. Callahan wouldn't give it back, and the Aggies wrapped him up and dropped him back for about a three-yard loss. Where's the official well, They're going to move it all the way up to the 31-yard line. It'll be a one-yard yeah. loss. Well, about two-yard loss. It'll be yeah. fourth now and about seven. Well, LaRocca was looking up in the sky. He was really angry that Callahan wouldn't give him the ball back. But once he gave it to him, the tug of war with the ball. Rice with no timeouts now. We're down to the 112 mark, and we've got a fourth and six situation. Fourth down and six at the 31-yard line. They need the Aggie 25. Single setback. Two wide outs, three wide outs on the right side. We'll throw the ball. LaRocca throwing it. He will have a incomplete pass at the six. Knocked away by a hurricane. Hendricks intended for Jimmy Lee at the six-yard line. On downs, the Aggies take over with 57 seconds to go in the game and should walk out of here with a 7 to nothing win. But what a great ball game we've seen today. The Aggies scoring at the 13-01 mark of the first quarter and no scoring since. It looks like they will take a 7 to nothing victory. Here come Thomas and Clay out on the field, and the clock now is at 42 seconds. So this one went down to the last offensive play of the game on a fourth and six, and a knockaway, a pass breakup by Michael Hendricks. This should be the last play Joe Davis of the ball game. Time is now at 25 seconds. Apparently they're going to go down on the knee as they snap them, snap the ball. Yeah, they do. Number four. Pulling will go down on a knee. And that probably will be the last play of the game. And this was a dandy today. We're going to have to take one more break before we go to the uh, post game. We have a, another network break to give you, so we'll do that. That's the game. The Aggies win at 7 to nothing over Rice. But we're going to take the final network break here. And then go to the post game. This is the Texas Aggie Network. November the 19th at 1 o'clock when TCU will be here at Kyle Field. Tickets for this game are on sale now in the foyer of the Raleigh White Coliseum. You can't say enough about all 11. We actually played about 19 guys today about how hard they play. It has not got to anything to do with technique or assignments. They just play effort, and they, they do everything they can do to, to uh, make the tackle. And it's, it was a team defensive uh, effort all day. You know, like uh, last, last uh, week when we played Baylor, Offense was on, defense was off, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and this this week, defense was on and offense was off. You know, it's a team effort. No matter what the score is, you know, it's a win. And that's what we have to do each week is win ball games. And, you know, it, you know, it's like having a family. You know, when you're in a family, if, some, if somebody in your family is doing bad, you try to take care of them. So we just took care of our offense today. Well, I think you have to give Rice credit for doing a good job, but uh, nonetheless, we have first and goal on the six-yard line and jump off sides and uh, end up not getting any points. We missed two field goals. So we, we played, I thought we played right in their hands today. Uh, start the game there, had to, you know, had to fumble to start the ball game. We ended up getting the ball back, but we, we started off and we, we allowed the game. That offense, if you allow them to stay close, then they can run the fullback and just go through that monotonous stuff you know so if you we got seven out if you go down and get 14 and kick a field goal at 17 you say you know what just keep running that fullback we're loving it you know just run the time we'll win at 17 to nothing so by not scoring and getting some more points on the board uh, we had 400 yards offense and uh, scored one touchdown on a long play and uh so I'm extremely disappointed that uh, we weren't more productive uh, offensively that we we uh, I don't know how many drop passes we had today uh, that were, they were critical. I thought Corey was pretty sharp throwing the football and we just dropped some balls. But uh, always happy to win and it's, it's one of those things that uh, 
I think uh, week in and week out when you get teams that come in and you get their best shot and they're motivated and they come in and play as good as they can play. And uh, we went out and we contributed to the game being close by our uh, not, you know, I just didn't think we were very focused uh, on offense. I thought our defense did a great job. Anytime you can shut anyone out, uh, you got to be happy with that. And I thought Rodney played hard and did an excellent job running the ball. And I thought Corey was effective throwing the ball.
1994-95, 335 members, the Fighting Texas Aggies.